back like we never left. SV here with a live reaction to Legend of the Northern Blade. This week, reading chapter 170. So let's lock in. Northern Blade, chapter 170. Let's get it. Oh my god, I forgot we saw this man pack up the administrator, bro. Huh? You see the blood boy. Who the fuck? Wait, what? So, oh, wait, who is that? So, someone, I, a lady, pop out with the, out the, out the woods. Wait, who is that, bro? Huh? So even the chaos demon is like, well, what, what, who is that, bro? Oh, shit! Oh, bro, the man, bro, bro, bro. So the person woke up with the aura, bro. It turned. It the man sees it. He blinks. And he sees it's fucking Muwan, bro. Muwan and this. Pe hold on. Let me hold on. Hold ho hold the phone, bro. Hold the phone. Time out and rewind, brother. Because there is no way. Hold the phone and rewind, brother. Because what? This panel is crazy. Like, bro, that shit is nutty. The man, like, bro, this caught me crazy, bro. So, immediately pulls up on the boy like, yo, what? Immediately, right? We see this weird figure pop out the woods. He's confused. Kazim is confused as hell. Then he blinks and sees who it actually is. And it's Muwan with the snowflower aura. Just, bro, this panel is... Bro, it's out the gate. They cooking, bro. That is insane. Like, bro, out the gate, just there, cooking like that? Bro. That that was the original Snow Power? That was the that was her? Okay, I did not know that actually. That's crazy, bro. Oh my god, bro. That panel is crazy. And he goes, Moo. Moo on? <laughs> he laughs. It's you, Moo on? Nice to meet you, brat. My, my. I get to meet Moo on here? <laughs> Kaz even just laughs, bro. Like, fuck you, bro. Right. Have you been doing all. Have you been doing well all this time? How did you find me? Joe Unkyung. And we see man puts the sword in his hand. Like, he not here to talk, boy. Like, our boy is not here to talk right now. We see the ore around Snowflower. We see the dude, tools in the woods. Ah! Gen Moan! Gen Moan! And we see Shim still in the woods screaming. Gen Moan! Screaming his head off, bro. And we see another gorgeous panel, bro, of Jin when he was traversing these these this forests, bro, through the trees, bro. Panel is gorgeous. Of the sunset with the red to the... Gorgeous, bro. Like, the art in this shit is incredible, bro. I'm not gonna cap to you. It's incredible. See, Muwan still making his way, running through the forest. The raid led by the Witch of the White Knight will be the final battle of this war. I must hurry to the Central Heavenly Ala- And as he- As he's doing this, right? Because he didn't- I don't think he planned to meet old Chaos Demon out here, bro. You know? So he's going to the White Witch raid. But as he's running there, Snowflower starts reacting to, to old boy because he's close. You know what I'm saying? He, Muan immediately notices, like, huh? What's happening? Stops and skids. Snowflower. That has, Snowflower, that has always been quiet. Is crying for the first time in a few years. It's nearby, he says. Ew! It's nearby. 
and we pose up again. Cut back to the present with snow power aura. All around the sword. You must, you must reek strongly of blood. What have you been doing, Joe Unkyun? And we see Chaos Demon looks at him like, none, none to say, no words yet, no words yet. Um, right. Well, it's it's spilled milk anyways, so there's no need to hide it. I was at Silent Night to assassinate the Night Leader, but the Night Leader has left for the Silent Plains. He wasn't there. So I just buried Silent Night to the ground while their whole troop was out. Okay. But you see, you reek of blood too, though. Mmm, so he may. He flips the script. Uno reverse. And says the same thing back to our boy Muwan. Because we Muwan been fighting. You know, he ain't been fighting. How large of a massacre did you cause? The smell of blood is stinging my nose. What on earth have you been out doing? Muwan says nothing. Then gives him a one word. Revenge. Facts. Talk, boy. Says nothing. In any case, you're so headstrong. You're still the same? How long are you going to obsess over something as narrow-minded as revenge? You can't just stop. Just live your own life now. You can't just stop. Just live your own life now, Muwan. Don't talk like you know him. Don't talk... Like you know about us, right? Like, bruh. The best revenge would be to live a long and healthy life. If sect leader Jin Kwan Ho up in heaven saw you going crazy over revenge like this, he would feel very sad. Don't you think? Bro, this man trying to gaslight Muan, bro. I'm also planning to overthrow the current Zheng Hu and reign on top, you know. In return, slowly and smoothly. But Muan, your method is too strong and sharp. Right. Thank blood. Thank you. They took everything from this man, bro. And then you want to act like... You, right, he, he doesn't have a right to revenge, bro? Like, come on, bro. That's why I said, like, you don't really know what the man went through, boy. You don't understand. You're not, he was not built like him, bro. He's not. Ah. But my long-term plans went awry just now. I lost my temper. <laughs> he laughs. As he laughs, and we see again the shriveled up corpse of the ad administrator just there on the ground, bro. That outfit. Is that the Minister of Intelligence Agency of the Central Heavenly Alliance? In the end, that's how he went. You must seep in naturally, like water dripping in, preparing yourself while pre pretending to comply. Otherwise, a sudden reformation will create the same backlash. Then again, even if I tell you this for hundreds or thousands of days, you'll keep pushing in your own way, right? Of course, you fucking bum. Especially if it's coming from me. How unfortunate. But still, please just think about it rationally. Just listen to me. Although our methods may be different, in the end, the essence of our goal is the same, isn't it? We have a little point of intersection there, right? Let's take this path together with this young. If you don't shut the fuck up, bro, I might, we not teaming up with you, bro. Kick rocks, eat a Frank, like bro. And we can put an end to our differences after we make our final goal come true. What do you think? Let's join hands among the members 
of the previous Northern Heavenly sect. Boy, don't even put that name in your mouth, bro. Don't even try to say that right now, bro. How dare you, bro? Muon responds, my path, my goal, my path, my own life, direction of life. Everyone is gone. Those who have tried to fill their pockets by taking even the handful of rice in their hands, in the hands of the poor. And those who have been wronged have no place to complain about injustice. At a time like this, even if those who learned martial arts turn a blind eye to those people, is there a reason for a martial artist to exist? Of course, one person cannot change the world. The world isn't that easy. But still, one could just be a small lamp that lights up the darkness. He could at least become a handle for other people to hold on to. Talk your shit, Muan. That is the reason why I learned martial arts and the path I'm going to follow. I, a small light in this corrupt world. And we see, oh, and we see, oh my God, this shit is so good. We see Muan thinks about his father, the broad shoulders of his pops, who died believing in what, you know what I'm saying? Who died believing in what he did. We see old girl. We see the snow flower. We see her murdered for the blood ritual by old boy. I will punish the betrayers of the Northern Heavenly sect. Oh my God. Another panel, man. Bathe in black, bro. With just the, the sword snow flower in the foreground and the black and purple smoke enveloping old boy move on i am going to relieve the snow flower's long resentment bro crazy absolutely crazy bro you see a beautiful shot of course of a normal heavenly sect yeah bro 100 percent. the art in this shit is Absolutely top tier, bro. It's incredible. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah, honestly, I think it's so, and this are neck and neck in terms of the art, bro. And I do agree with you. There are some panels in this shit where I feel like I don't think a panel so leveling went up to this caliber, bro. Like, they are really neck and neck in terms of the art quality, bro. It's insane. But we cut away to the Northern Heavy sect. We see our girl, Ha Siol, sitting on the roof under the moonlight. En Ha Siol. We see, oh, so cute. Her and Muan. Oh, so cute. Muan just looking, bro. That man is stressed, boy. She looking at him like, damn, that man got going through it. Looking at that man's in the eyes. Okay. So we see. Northern Heavenly Sect. We're back in a sec. We see our boy, Three Mind Scholar. We see that boy, Ha Jin. Jin Woo. He opens up a fucking paper and he the man's his eyes. Blink. Open wide, boy. This is a variable. Oh, this is the news of the old girl dying. Oh, oh, shit. That's why he looks so distressed, bro. Because in my mind, I'm like, bro, what kind of news he just got to make him look like that, bro? But of course, because he's sweating too, bro. And he goes, this is a variable. And we see old girl, the one she packed him up that one time. The panel in the beginning of this chapter reminds me when Jin Woo pulled up to uh, on Huang. Oh, facts. 
Oh nah, that that's pretty uh, that's pretty close to be fair. That it definitely has the same energy, one hundred percent. One thousand same energy. Bruh, so lovely, so good, bro. So good. Man, lost it, bruh. Damn. So man is just thinking about thinking back to all the times he had with old Westgate girl, bruh. What should I do if I leave if you leave this way? Damn. So he's tight because I feel like obviously he wanted to like best her in like a mind match or whatever they call it. A mind battle. But she just gone now, bro. So he does he feel some type of way about that. What should I do if you leave this way? As he crumbles the paper up, bro. My man Jin going through it, boy. Right. He wanted to get back on her, bro. For shitting on him. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Ah. Whew, it's not a deep sigh. Shimen Young. There are still so many things I wanted to show you. How could you leave this way? My, how vain. How futile. You see it. A knock on the door. Come in. We see Hasio. Minister, military advisor. Are you busy? Huh? Who do you, who do we have here? Lady N. Please take a seat. I was surprised since I didn't expect you here at all. Okay. So she sits down with old boy. I was very surprised to meet you outside your abode. Since usually I could only meet you if I visited you. Was I too, I, well, I was too late, wasn't I? Thank you for waiting, military advisor. I'm very glad to know that your health is improving. Okay, W. By the way, what brings you here? I wanted to relay my gratitude, and there's something I'm curious about. How is the war progressing? <clears throat> we can say that the war ended with the, with the Central Heavenly Alliance's victory. However, though it ended with their victory, it's hard to say anyone won if we look at the facts. A lot of people died. Not only the key figures of the Central Heavenly Alliance, but all of the four demons of the Silent Night died, except for the white witch, the witch of the white knight. And we see, bing, Hasio obviously is, think about that, Hasio. We're going to, we're going to start moving to dismantle the Central Heavenly Alliance and Silent Knight. In that process, a lot of people, a lot of them will, and she just hugs old boy, a lot of them will die. I see. Then what about the possessor of the white, witch of the white knight? The Witch of the White Knight must be moving to ambush the central part of the Central Heavenly Alliance now. However, I have already spread information about the white, the Witch of the White Knight's raid on the Central Heavenly Alliance's base to the Heavenly Alliance. So in the end, the two groups will eventually clash in the final battle. Is Muwan there too? Sect leader Jin is currently shaking the bases of both sides in the battlefield. But once he's done, he's going to join the Central Heavenly Alliance against the Witch of the White Knight's raid. By now, he should be on the move. I think I have to go see it for myself. What? Are you good to even go? Like, even, even my boy Hygiene is like, pardon? Are you being serious? We're lacking in masters, and if a master like Lady Anne moves for the Northern Heavenly Sect, we'd be we'd be extremely grateful. But you have to face the Witch of the White Knight. Will you be all right? I have to face the Witch of the White Knight, my master. At one point, I'm not going to avoid it any longer, and I'm. Worried about Muwan. 
Yo, no, the chapter ends. Northern Blade, chapter 170, end. Oh my god. I'm so, so she got some kind of intuition that Muan is not, is in some kind of trouble, bro. Which is very interesting because we know he's not going to have an easy fight against this guy, the blood guy, Chaos Demon, you know what I'm saying? So it's very interesting that she, like, in, like with her, like, women's intuition, bro, was able to clock that, yo, yo. Something is wrong with my, with my, with my man, bro. <laughs> something wrong with, like, something's up, you know? So, the fact that she's gonna go there is important because Muan might not be there by the time the raid start, bro. You know? Because he had a detour to fight old Chaos guy. Yo, this shit cooking, boy. Oh my god, this shit gonna go crazy. Muan... Fighting Chaos Guy and now Hasio going back to the front line to fight is very sick, bro. My only gripe I have with this series is that we we never seen move we never see move on train and we have never gotten an in-depth power system. Like different techniques like Nano does. Mm. I don't, I don't know, bro. I don't know if I, if I need an explanation of the techniques. Because everyone shit's different, bro. And, like, I don't know. I, I'm kind of fine. Like, we, we saw Muan. We didn't see him train. But we know when he got this powerful, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like it was a drastic, like, jump. Like, we saw him go to train for years in the mountain. You know what I'm saying? Like, we saw... We we didn't see it, but we know it happened because we saw him there in the mountain. We just didn't see the physical training. Like, we didn't see him punching rocks and shit. But we saw the training, bro. And, like, I don't know if I need an explanation on everything that he has, bro. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if I need that. Right, like, we know... When he trained, like when he went to the Isaiah training, we knew that already. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. This is so good, bro. This is so good, bro. It's so good. Yeah, but the next chat is gonna go crazy, bro. With the fight against with the fight with the KS guy against Muan, and then this raid now is gonna be very, very sick. So I'm very, very hyped. But if you made it to the end of the live reaction, I appreciate y'all so much. If you enjoyed, don't forget to have a like on the video. It really helped the boy out. Also, subscribe to the channel. So I'm bringing different live reactions weekly, and we're on the road to 1K. So I'm gonna see y'all next time. Stay safe out in these streets, and I'm gonna see y'all soon. Peace.